Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, uh, today I'm looking at installing the NavPod. I've had this forever, well, probably over two years now. Uh, shocking, really, I haven't put this in, to be honest. Uh, it goes in this location here. This isn't an original one. This is from CL Performance. Now, I have already uh, pre-fitted this, and I know it does not fit correctly, so we're going to take a look at that. We're going to have a look at the options that uh, I'm going to have to actually make this fit. Um, we saw in a previous uh, video that I've solved the issue for getting power to the Samsung tablet that I'm going to put in there. Um, so pretty much if you get, you've got two options uh, for getting a nav pod if you want one in there. Um, they'll take a 7 inch screen as I showed before. Uh, a 7 inch Samsung Galaxy Tab fits in there uh, okay so that's what I'm going with so you can import one of these from uh, Japan and if you have a look at juice J -A -U -C -E com, which is uh, Yahoo Japan auctions uh, there's, a quite, there's a few of these at this moment in time which is November uh, 2018 there's a few of these on that auction site but they're, they're hundreds of pounds with days to go um, I'm not spending hundreds of pounds on what is essentially a bit of plastic shell. Um, so I bought this from um, CL Performance when they first started putting these out as a new product. I, I don't know if they've refined the design on this in terms of how it actually fits into here. Uh, I certainly do hope so. Uh, so anyway, so let's stop waffling around. Um, now, to get this thing out, and I've already pre-released these, if I just zoom in there. Now, those... That, we can just uh, there we go so that clip there um, that just slides in and out so you there's one each side so you'll pop that out to the left and then on the other side there where is it there yeah you'll pop that one out to the right and then that enables this let's just zoom back out that enables this to then just lift out and you'll there's some hooks on there and they uh, they they locate in there. So if you when you unhook these, and you can put it back in, you just literally put put it back in and push those clips at the back back into the dash each side, and it will just go straight back in, no problem. Um, yeah. So just bear in mind that you've got to sort of push it back a little bit to then allow that hook to come out. So then that comes out um, quite happily. Now um, the mat here, this is just held in with tape. So there's a tape strip here and there's a tape strip along the back. So okay, and that's it. And now we're you're you're pretty much ready to fit the nav pod. Now the stock one uses these locator points here and then a kind of spring-loaded uh, back section and that kind of locates that in place. So um, with this um, one here, if you see, you can see what I mean there, uh, that's their sort of attempt to co copy that. So that just sort of slides around the back of that and it's sort of spring-loaded so it locks it in place. Now the issue that I've got with this is, let's just get in a bit, so we've got that, if I drop that locator lug in there, hang on a second, I've just got to bend these lugs down. I think I'm going to end up breaking these lugs off, to be honest, because they're more trouble than they're worth, and I'm going to bond the thing in anyway. Right, so if we, if we locate that one in there, you'll see here, on this side, that does not even come anywhere near that on that side and that is the problem with this these lugs if we just have a look on the inside there see the lug is nowhere near it's not even close uh, so essentially I'm gonna have to cut those off which then gives me the problem of well actually how am I gonna fit this thing in here um, but that is what I'm gonna have to do um, the the other issue I'm going to have is when that is down and sort of flat is I'm going to uh, probably uh, 3M or uh, some other type uh, tape the bottom of that so then that will stick sort of stay down flat to the dash because otherwise it's got a bit of bounce in there you can see just about which will annoy me and will probably creak on the dash 
So, um, so over to you, my friends. If you've got some ideas as to how I can fit that nav pod in there, fix it in place. Bearing in mind, there's going to be a screen there, so I'm not going to be able to go in from this point of view. Uh, if you've got some ideas about how I can fix that in place, then please do leave me a comment uh, because I'm interested uh, in all your ideas. Um, I've thought about some kind of magnetic catching. Yeah, it needs to be something where I can, I can sort of pop it out. Uh, this is going to be part one of uh, the installation of this. Um, the next uh, video on this will be having taken on board any of your comments, figuring out how I'm going to fit the mechanism to uh, fit it in actually to the pod, taking these lugs off, and then I'm going to uh, plastic prime, because this is fiberglass plastic prime, and paint that, and then uh, install it with the screen. Um, the screen, that's, that's the screen uh, there, that goes in there uh, very nicely. So, um, yeah, so that's it for now. Uh, please do leave me a comment. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.